So this one is very similar to the read-only one that we did before. It's just that it allows you to specify specific keys, uh, and we give that K as a parameter name, that can be read-only on T. So here we see an example. Let's just look through, through the example. So we have to do, it has three properties, title, description, and completed. And here we're saying we want to take in that type, but make title and description read-only. So we should see here, they're showing us this kind of intuitively by trying to assign to them. It's an error to assign to title because we gave it in here. It's an error to decide assign to description because we gave it up here. But completed is okay. Completed is not read-only. It also says this important thing, when K is not provided, it should make all the properties read-only just like the normal read-only type. So maybe I'll go dig that up and we can find the read-only type and start from there. Um, but yeah, Rob, any, any thoughts? So here's here's the examples. This is the same thing we saw from above, and it kind of rolls through various cases. Let's take a swing at it. Um, so first off, the uh, example wanted to take T. Mm -hmm. and T and K. K, yep. And then it wanted a default, so we're going to do an extent equals of T. And I'll put, if you want to see, uh, I hope I'm not spoiling anything, but for anybody interested in the read-only <coughs> type, we did it in a previous uh, video, and here it is up here, so we can sort of reference it as we go. All right, so now let's just start from the, uh, the previous read-only code here. Mm -hmm. um, still got a couple passing things, but we want to do, instead of key of T, I think we want to do in K here. And then T of K. Definitely. This is going to need to extend key, key, key of T. Of yeah, T, right. So I we believe. have to constrain K to say K is a, is a key of T. And then this part gives it a d default argument saying, if we don't provide it, then default it to all the keys of T. Now, what I've done here is only going to return the keys that are read-only if K is provided. So mm -hmm. we're going to need to and these two together. Mm, okay. So it doesn't like that. Mm -mm. So let's see. Let's try this. Uh, key two and key of T. You're close. You're digging in the right direction. The syntax error here. Yeah, yeah. So the syntax is you need to do uh, this. And and. Yeah, and then and in between there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'll fix it up for you. So that's how we do that. But now we need to, so what we need to do next is restrict the keys that are assignable here. Um, we can just keep using, um, so like let's let's change this one to, to P, for example. Uh, uh, P and T of K, and then we'll put P there, exactly. So down here, we're, what we really want to, like, what we really want to say is uh, take out the keys that are uh, not assignable to K. I think we want... Exclude T. Close. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'll help you out. So what we're going to do is we're still going to end up with like a, a P that goes in here. This is a new scope. So it's a new, it's gotcha. a different P. So like if we just call this one P as well. So P and key of T, that's, that's very similar to what we just did before. That's like, you're just remapping it. You might as well say T. So we just expanded out T so we can work with it. Now what we're going to do, we're going to say, uh, extends k, never, or p. So what we're saying here is... Um, Interesting. Uh, like these, I'm, I'm using that resign to show you that all of these p's are the same. So what we're saying here is p is in key of t. So p is a subset of the keys of t. That's the first thought. The next part is that we're resigning it, reassigning it as this conditional. And the conditional says, does p which by the way, again, is a key of T. Does it extend K? Now K is also key of T, but K is parameterized. So it's a generic, we can pass in a new one. And if it's not extending K, then re return never. And if it is, then return P. So return this particular K key of T that was passed in, if it matches, uh, if it's a subset of K. The way that this works, this as keyword, is a remapping thing in TypeScript. And if you say never, then it will sort of omit those keys. And we're going to see more examples of this as time goes on. 
Um, any thoughts about, I'm going to show, there's a lot of examples to show, so I'm going to paste in a bunch, but while I do that, or any, any thoughts on that, Rob? Seems pretty flexible. I didn't know you could cast, uh, use the as in these type block. Yeah, check this out. So uh, there's going to be a lot, but let's just blow all the way through it. Just, just, just barrel on towards the finish line here. So here's read only. We talked about that. This is the thing that we just did. We, we pretty much just did that. I mean, this is like saying read only T, right? Um, so I want to talk about a way to get to this finish line here. Okay, it seems a little crazy, but we can go step by step. Okay, so let me let me space us all out, and I'm going to show you uh, sort of step by step what we do. Let's get all these things. Oops, not that. Let's get these things off the screen here. So here we are. Um, pick in TypeScript. Uh, we haven't. Rob and I haven't talked about pick yet. It's. I think it's one of the challenges. Pick basically just works like this. We have some subset of of a T, which is like an object, we have the keys that we pass in, and it just gives us keys inside of that set, right? So if we start with the read-only type and we start with pick, then we can sort of and together, we can join the read-only picked out keys of T. Does that make sense? So we have all of the keys of T, but they're read-only. And then we're going to add this part. So if we add exclude, so this is the definition, and these again, these are right out of the um, out of TypeScript. So oh, you, can't, you can't see them because I redefined them. But if I comment this out, check this out, it still works. So if I if I click F12 on my keyboard, I'm going to go to this excludes type that's provided by TypeScript directly, and I just literally copy pasted it. That's all I did, so we can see it in front of us. So exclude takes in a T and a U, and it ex extends. It says, does T extend U? If, if so, then don't, you know, return never. And if and if it doesn't, then return T. So it's excluding, I mean, they give a good name for it, actually. Let's just go back to that. Exclude from T those types that are assignable to you. I know that when we talk about these things, it seems it's fast. Just take a moment and think about what that means. And it should sink in. I think we're just going to take out those, those keys that are assignable. So we see that we just took this section and we condensed it down to here. Okay. Then the next question is, how do we get further? So you see this now we're now we're at this section. Okay, we have we used pick and we just parameterized it with pick, right? Now let's look at what omit is. Omit is just pick with exclude. So we literally wrote omit to write this function. We said um, we're going to take in a t and then we're going to take in a k that extends uh, some keys. And we're going to pick out from T those keys that are excluded from T, from keys of T. I know this sounds like word salad, but if you take these examples, these examples are going to be online. They're posted under the video. You can look through step by step and you can yourself step all the way from this point all the way down to, to this point. So it's, I don't want to go too much in depth, but any thoughts on that, Rob, while we're looking at it? Yep, we're just taking two sides of the same uh, same set, right? Mm -hmm. We've got uh, two exclusive sets here. Yep, exactly. Awesome. <laughs>